Um, uh, so welcome to this second part of uh, chapter six. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the normal probability distribution, uh, which is a, a, a very important uh, uh, type of distribution that we is going to be used very widely uh, when we deal with the section about uh, a statistical inference. Uh, so the remainder of the time that we have, we shall be looking at a lot about, or, or, or we shall be dealing a lot with statistical inference. Uh, we'll try to do as much as possible as we can. Um, see what we can cover this week. Uh, but anyway, uh, so this is, a, I'm sure I'll be part of this distribution. It basically uh, has this shape. And a normal curve can be described by two things. Uh, there's a, what you, by the standard deviation and by the mean. Uh, so for any uh, normal curve can be fully described by these two parameters. Um, and the uh, probability density function is given by one of a, a sigma uh, root 2 pi and e to the uh, minus x minus mu squared over uh, 2 sigma squared. I don't have to worry too much about the formula. Um, in general, uh, we shall be given tools to compute the, uh, uh, these probability distributions uh, where necessary maybe uh, uh, equations will be provided. The most important thing is to understand exactly uh, what, uh, uh, what these different parameters are. And of course, you have to know which uh, distribution that is, is going to be applied. Uh, so especially for uh, situations where the distribution is actually uh, a curve, uh, the practice is that uh, you'll be provided this formula. Um, so in general, I, I said the normal distribution can be described by its uh, uh, mean and its uh, uh, sigma. Uh, so uh, generally, so this, this would be the effect, if, if you change the means, the effect is basically to shift the graph. Uh, the overall shape remains the same. So this is really the same. Uh, uh, these are different graphs with a different means, uh, but the same sigma. So if you only change the mean, then it, it basically means you're going to shift the graph left or right. Uh, so this is the graph for mu is equal to zero, and this is the graph for mu is equal to 20, and this is the graph over here for mu is equal to minus 10. Uh, in, both, in, in, in all three situations, these have the same sigma. So the, uh, uh, the, the width of the graph and the height is really uh, the same. Um, if you change sigma, uh, the lower your sigma, the higher the, uh, the height, and the lower the, um, the smaller the deviation from the mean, so the smaller the uh, width. Uh, if, if you reduce, if you increase sigma, uh, then you're going to have a bigger width but a lower height. Um, so this is how sigma and, and mu affect the shape of, of the graph. Um, uh, so in general, these percentages do apply. Uh, for all um, uh, normal distributions, you'll find 68.3 uh, of the values will lie between the one standard deviation uh, of the mean, between one s uh, within one sigma of the mean, and uh, 95.4 are going to lie between two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7 of the values, 99.7% of the values are going to lie uh, between uh, within three standard deviations of the mean. So this is what it actually means. So uh, this is where 68.3% of the values do lie uh, within one standard deviation of the mean. Uh, so that's minus uh, uh, mu minus uh, sigma uh, to mu plus sigma. Then uh, two standard deviations you have 95.4 percent of all your values, and uh, within three standard deviations uh, you, you're going to have 99.7 percent of your values. Um, so we uh, we also talk about the standard normal distribution. So the standard normal probability distribution is quite useful. Uh, it's a normal probability distribution which has a mean, a mu is equal to zero, and a sigma of one. Uh, so if you have these conditions, you have what you call a standard normal uh, probability distribution. Um, and usually we refer to the variable as z. Yeah, we normally do refer to the variable as z uh, instead of x. So this is just notation. Um, and actually the uh, uh, probability, like I told you before, it is possible uh, you don't have to worry too much about the formula because uh, um, uh, tools will be provided for you to calculate these, prob to calculate these uh, probabilities. Uh, so these are uh, accumulative probability tables that uh, will be provided. And I'm going to show you how you use this accumulative probability table. Uh, so you, in an exam or test, is you're going to be provided with these here. Yeah? Um, um, so anyway, for instance, uh, if you want to find out the probability z is less than or equal to 1, uh, what you have to do is, uh, you actually do have these tables in, uh, in the book. 
uh, somewhere around the first pages. Uh, so just a minute. So I want to show you how you actually do use uh, probability density, rather cumulative probability tables. Um, it shouldn't be very far. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is a cumulative probability table uh, that you see over here on, on page. Um, it's really the page after the, the cover, right? Uh, it's really the page uh, after the cover, after the cover page. So if you're looking for the uh, cumulative probability uh, uh, value for uh, z is equal less than or equal to 1, uh, you go into this column, so this is the column for z. Uh, 1.0 so this is z and over here you have the, the different uh, possible uh, decimal values uh, so for z is equal to 1 uh, 1 is over here z less than or equal to 1 1 is over here so if you're looking for the corresponding value of uh, uh, probabilities 0.8413 so this is really how you use the probability uh, cumulative probability tables uh, so this is going to give you so our probability is actually that um, so if you want to find the uh, probability um, uh, 0.5 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1.25 uh, so this first of all you have what you have to do is to find the probability less than or equal to 5 um, so probability uh, less than or equal to uh, 0.5 again uh, you're going to go over here to the cumulative probability table uh, uh, so you're going to go to the entry that corresponds to zero, um, z point point five over here, yeah. So this is point five, and that value is point six nine one five, yeah. The value is six point six nine one five. So that is actually point um, six nine one five. Um, but then you also want to get the pro cumulative probability. Um, just a minute. So we're saying, let me just uh, indent. Let me just indent this. So probability less than or equal to 5 is 0 0.6915. Then you want to get the probability uh, less than or equal to 1.25. Uh, so we have to go back to the cumulative probability table. So that is 1. Uh, 0.25 so you you have the entry for 1.2 over here so 0.25 is this column over here 0.5 rather uh, 0.05 is this column over here so you want to see where they intersect and they intersect here so that's 1.2 0.05 so that's 1.25 over there so you have 0.8944 um, it's going to give you 0.8944 so you want to get the difference then so if, uh, to actually get uh, z between 0 0.5 and 0 0.125, you want to get uh, um, it would be z less than or equal to uh, 1.25 minus uh, probability z probability z less than or equal to 0.5 and we already have this, so it's going to be um, 0.8944. Uh, so let's just do this here in the calculator. It's going to be um, 0.8944 minus 0.6915. So that's a 0 0.2029. Yeah, 0 0.2029. So that's going to be a probability that you have 0 0.2029. Um, so let's see. Then what's going to be the probability that the z i uh, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to 1.58? Uh, so it's going to be simply uh, the full probability density minus the cumulative probability. Uh, minus the cumulative probability. Uh, z uh, less than or equal to 
five eight. Uh, so so that is really one minus uh, one point five eight z less than uh, or equal to one point five eight. Uh, so the cumulative probability one point five is here. Point oh eight is there. So one point five eight. The uh, intersection point is point nine four two nine. Uh, point nine four two nine. Yeah. So uh, let's see. So so we actually going to get was it nine four two nine? Uh, I just need to remind myself. Yeah. So it's uh one. So one minus point nine four two nine. So you get this uh, value point uh, 0571. Uh, so you could do the uh, reverse. So what we've been having is basically trying to find the probability given uh, some z. But you could want to find the z given some probability. So what's the probability uh, of obtaining a larger z value? Obtaining a, a, what's the probability of obtaining a larger z value? A, a value of z uh, greater than point 0.1 uh, is that how the question is actually asked in the uh, just a minute so let me just go to chapter 6 something wrong with how I, I found this question so let me just uh, check the exercise um, um, Mm. What was I? Okay, chapter six. Uh, where are the exercises? So you have. Um, uh, it's not really an exercise. I just got it from the. Uh, so you want to find. Um. So we have been given some information and on z value so you want to find uh, we want to find the z value oh, wait a minute so you want to find the z value that corresponds to to what uh, I'm just looking for the yeah so if uh, so suppose we want to find a z value uh, such that probability of obtaining a larger z value is point 0.1 so this is the question right uh, the z value such that probability of obtaining a larger z value oh, okay is point 0.1 so that means the probability of obtaining a lower z value is actually point 0.9 so you're going to look for a place uh, so if you have such a situation such a problem uh, you want to look for the uh, a point corresponding to a cumulative z value of 0.9 um, so you have to go back to the probability cumulative probability table uh, z value of 0.9 uh, we want the positive values right actually you have positive and negative values we didn't do any negative example but if you're looking for a z value of 0.9 uh, so you're looking for the thing that is closest to 0.9 uh, so you have to start from 0.8 probably so the highest value you have is 0.8997 uh, which corresponds to 1.2 1.28 yeah it's 1.28 right so this is the uh, value that gives you um a cumulative uh of, 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 of 1 of 0.9 so the uh so the value is going to be 1.28 so if you want to get such that probability of obtaining a larger value is 0.1 that means that the lower probability the prob probability of getting a lower value remember the uh, uh, cumulative probability table actually gives you the um, probability of less than or equal to uh, so you're gonna have to look at the uh, uh, at one minus that probability that you that you've been given uh, so we can actually directly check if these are correct um, chapter six uh, can check if these are correct because uh, these are gotten out of the actual text 
uh, 8.413, is that right? Yeah, 8.413. Um, can we check the others just to see if they are correct? Uh, so this gave us uh, 0.58959. Did we get that? Uh, uh, what am I looking at? Um, between 0.5 and 1.25 um so z 1.25 old minus 0.5 yeah it was minus uh, 0.5 so we should have gotten um our lower value should have been if we go to the negative as complaining we didn't have a negative example but now we do have one so minus 0.5 is actually um minus 0.5 where do we have that minus 3 2 this one's actually going down minus 0.5 is 0.3085 0.3085 uh, so this would be 0 0.3085 3085 uh, so let's see uh, you get a point uh, Point eight nine four four minus minus point three or so you have to be careful one uh, part is uh, negative and the other part is a uh, positive point five eight five nine yeah so I think point five eight five nine and this is probably what you have in chapter six uh, let's see is that what uh, is that what you've been being given uh wait a minute um so just wait a minute yeah point five eight five nine in the text um but generally if you if you if you're doing uh exercises uh let's see try something from an exercise um just want to show you because some of you um i don't know if you actually know that the uh the answers are given to you in in the text yeah um so you haven't really done this but basically this is a chapter this is chapter six exercises yeah chapter six exercises um and this is a uh, number eight right yeah so if you go to, if, you, if, if you search chapter six the actually answers for uh actually answers at the end so these are the answers you see for chapter six so uh, number eight chapter six would be uh would be over here six um where were we so one two four or seven so you have six uh, okay, it does look like you have the answers here for for partic particularly number eight. Yeah, but this is basically what you do. You just go search the chapter, then you should be able to see the. Um, uh, let me just go back and see what's going on. Maybe it's something that didn't require an answer. Um, so it's actually good that I do this in real time and. Uh, so you can uh, figure out some of the issues that you could run into if you are actually doing this uh so this is a uh, using figure 6.4 label horizontal ah okay and a standard label so, so this is basically a graph yeah so i think this is probably in another section um let me just go back to the answers and be sure so, so they're only giving you answers to the numerical they're not giving answers to all the questions so mostly they're giving answers to the uh, numerical uh, questions um so let's see do we have a numerical question here uh so you have chapter six chapter six let's see the exercise uh, i know they had an answer for number 10 um self-test number 10 Chapter six, yeah. 
So you have the um, self test, right? So they did have an answer for number 10. Number 10 is like, uh, let me see, you draw a graph, then put a standard, then use the table, and then so you have answers for 10 A, B, up to D. Um, so if you go back to the answer section, so with number 10, you can see the answers for A, B, C, D. So that's basically how you get the, uh, if you want to check the uh, your computations for the different questions, this is how you do it. Um, but I wanted to go on to the um, uh, standard normal distribution. Um, so I think let me do that in a new video um, so that we can like uh, make sure this is not too long for the upload. Um,